Hello, my soccer gamers, and welcome to this week's Bundesliga's review. Bundesliga's review, that's what I'm gonna call it. I better get this video done because it's uh, Easter Monday and we wanna take a family walk, so better get this out first. I'm also very happy that the just newly acquired Frankfurt jersey serves its purpose quite well already because they. I, I have a very good reason of wearing their jersey and I'm very happy to have that. Otherwise, the background didn't change much. However, soon up to two new jerseys uh, for Bundesliga should come with by the end of the month. So I'm very excited about that to also get this background a little bit more uh, unique and not have teams double up. Although it's while well, I'm doubling up is last class class, which is not a bad idea per se, although not this week. So headlines, I think up top it's pretty much all decided. First off, Bayern beating Leipzig. I think we can congratulate Bayern for the ninth championship in a row, equaling what uh, what Juventus did. And let's see if they can go for 10. Uh, Celtic also did that. So yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, if they can go for 10, <laughs> I I'll, I'm saying it now. I If there's one team that can do it, it is Bayern. However, maybe, maybe there's a lot of unrest within the club so who's who knows what's what 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 will happen but then uh you would look like in italy and yes I, the italy video is already out uh you would look at uh, that there's maybe champions uh league race no frankfurt beat dortmund away from home and it's pretty much decided who will go into the champions league maybe there will be but i think it's pretty much decided who will go uh, uh, in those top four spots. So all that we have left is relegation, but that one will be a nail biter, especially if you support one of the teams like I, I do like Kern and I'm very much afraid that they uh, will go down. Uh, they are trending the wrong direction with mine, trending the right direction. And with two uh, teams sharing the spoils, yeah, will be Will be tough. Let's put it, put it with that. Where relegation is begging, and then we had Austria. Yeah, the start to the playoffs and what well, loss? Uh, ah, another loss. And the two favorites. I mean, the favorite is Salz, Salzburg. Uh, they just played for a little bit and got something. And Rapid just ran a riot on their coach's 50th birthday or something like that. Crazy. So briefly into in into the games, it was really a Bundesliga weekend for me uh, because of the two big games that I just said: Dortmund, Frankfurt, and Leipzig, Bayern. Um, those this, those are the ones where I really put my focus on. Um, I saw the conference. And so I saw a little bit of Augsburg Hoffheim, where Augsburg was really clinically Vargas and Hahn getting the first two goals in the 23rd. Uh, Hoffheim pulls one back uh, very late through Skov. Was a really thunderous shot, but um, not much uh, else there. Augsburg hang, hang on, basically reading themselves a relegation trouble. Schalke is already relegated, so you think Leverkusen should have it easy under uh, new coach Hannes Wolf. They get the 1 0, but it's, uh, it, it was a tough game to watch uh, for everyone involved. Uh, Klaas Jan Hüntela is probably for me the uh, story of the game because he scored two goals, one of which was uh, disallowed. The other one, to make it 2 1, uh, was actually a classic Hüntela goal. Patrick Schick had made it 2 0 before that, but um, yeah. It was all about Dortmund Frankfurt. and. Um, you know, in the conference, it is uh, they switch back and forth between games. You see a little bit, and then when there's a goal, goal scored, or when there's something, they yell uh, in German "Tor in City." So it was there "Tor in Dortmund," and every time I thought there's "Tor in Dortmund," I thought that Dortmund will will have scored it. Every time it was actually Frankfurt that has scored. Uh, the first one happened in the eleventh minute uh, when, yeah. A cross count comes in and Nico Schulz wants to uh, clear it, but gets it in such a weird way that it uh, lampoons over his goalkeeper into the net. And it's 1 0 Frankfurt, oh, who played a really good game. But you know, knowing that Dortmund will need to come out and storm, and we can uh, hit them on, on the counter attack with a really great attacking cast. Um, unfortunately, I nodded off in the last <laughs> five minutes of the half. <laughs> so I didn't even see the goal by Hummels, but in the 45th he equalizes, and so it's 1-1 at the half. Uh, 
in a, uh, probably deserved at that point. And then Dortmund wants to go and kill off of the game. However, it is Frankfurt that scores the goals. Ilsanka gets one goal that was offside. And then just when uh, you thought they are storming because they need the points, Frankfurt could have well lived with, with a draw there. Uh, Kostic serves under Silva the ball on the silver plate and he can head it home for another uh, a goal. I think he, he, he he's now runner up in the Bundesliga charts. I mean, if there wasn't Lewandowski in there, who of course is now in injury, probably will not get the four early goals, which is so uh, staggering in a way because he was so well on track. An injury, and I said it. That's the one thing that can prevent him from from doing so. So, get Miller's record will probably still just, uh, stand. Although I don't think it's be uh, beyond Lewandowski to get those five goals. In any case, uh, that game would have been also the game between Holland and uh, Silva for the Bundesliga crown if there wasn't Lewandowski. So yeah, huge win for Frankfurt, as we'll see in the table, because that will see them through to the Champions League, which is sensational, uh, given not only their budget but also uh, all the unrest because the coach Hütter is very much in demand. Um, I'm not sure if Andre Silva will stay, then the, um, Freddy Bobic, the manager, uh, sporting director, uh, is probably also gonna, uh, uh, also stepping down or has already stepped down. So um, uh, given that, making the Champions League, that's pretty good work. Pretty good, good uh, work right there. Uh, another big game was between Mainz and Bielefeld because I think whoever would have won that one, although more Mainz uh, would have definitely given them an advantage in the relegation uh, battle. A fight against re re relegation was not a all 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 the great game. Very level. Uh, Mainz get a penalty penalty to uh, Bro which Brozinski converts in the 56th, um, and then the uh, equalizer through Vogel summer was notable because there was a. Um, a uh, free kick that uh, hits the wall and bounces, uh, and the guy was hit, you know, right between between the legs, uh, wincing while uh, falling down, and the ball comes back to Vogel somehow, then puts it in the, into the empty, uh, empty-ish net because the goalkeeper uh, was already jump, jumping the other way. Well, a very weird uh, equalizer. I think on balance the draw was fine. However, for Kern, I'm not sure what would have been the best result there. And Kern, Wolfsburg really didn't play great. Uh, but of course, Kern uh, tried to just eke out a point there. But Wout Weichhorst plows himself again through the defense, puts the ball to Brekalo. Uh, and it's 1-0 one, one and Kern cannot find any equalizer there and it looks pretty, pretty dire for them, I have to say. Leipzig-Munich. What a weird game that was. Um, because the game started and Leipzig, you thought they're gonna eat Bayern alive. But uh, they look dangerous, uh, got the ball into dangerous situations, but there was never really the chance where I think Emmanuel Neuer had to really get into the game. Uh, Bayern kind of a little bit conceded the game, at least at the beginning beginning to Leipzig. Uh, the longer the half went on, the more Bayern got into the game and it just needed one attack where uh, Müller is sent deep, he picked, he Takes it back to Goretzka, who can pull it in the internet. It's 1 0 Bayern. And to be honest, what Bayern did then is a little bit what Inter is doing, just eking out the result. Really. Uh, there were, I think there were in the second half no more shots on goal for Bayern. It was all Leipzig, but Leipzig never was really that dangerous. Uh, to be honest, there was not much. Uh, I, there were uh, long range shots from Sabitzer. I think these, these, these are chances that I remember, but not much else. And so, yeah, uh, Bayern wins that one in almost, I don't want to say typically Bayern fashion because Bayern is playing more, but you know, they just dug in, got the result. They knew if they get this result, the championship is theirs. And so it is. And you could see it in the, in the celebrations afterwards. The first time I saw it was when, when they won late at Leverkusen. Now you could, could, could see it again. They knew now we have a big win and we're gonna do it. We, we're gonna get this cha championship. And yeah, uh, I have to give themselves a lot of credit. I mean, there's a lot of talk that uh, Leipzig doesn't have the mentality to win. I'm not so much in, into that. It's just that Bayern really played smart and kept them 
away from their goal. I mean, that Neuer makes a clean sheet in a top game, that says a whole lot because Bayern is conceding goals left and right. Uh, I didn't see anything of the evening game where Gladbach beats Freiburg 2-1, a little bit of Stuttgart, Bremen, Stuttgart getting the win there. And then the derby between Union and Hertha, um, it was all Union at the beginning, where Andrich, after a nice assist by Musa, gets the 1-0 in the 10th minute. However, then a pretty clear penalty is converted by Luca back in 35th and then the game kind of peter peters out into a 1-1. Which now we have leads us to the following standings. Uh, as I said, up top, yeah. uh, everyone in the top four is over 900%. So those four teams will make the Champions League. Dortmund has only outside chances, seven points behind, as, as is Leipzig behind Bayern. Bayern is more or less champions. They really need a collapse of epic proportions there. Um, a lot of movement in midfield, but all these teams are not going anywhere. I mean, uh, probably between Union and Stuttgart, there could be a European spot there, uh, depending on the cup, uh, which probably will go to Leipzig or Dortmund. So uh, there could be uh, another spot uh, falling. So the seventh spot might get a Europa, uh, a European spot as well. And that's between Union, Stuttgart, Gladbach, potentially Freiburg. Cut. Then we go into relegation, so where I think Augsburg, Hoffenheim, and even Bremen are rather safe. Hertha, due to a big rating, looks uh, um, look safe in the chances because they have a pretty pretty good squad. But I wouldn't call Hertha safe by safe by any means. But I think it's been in Mainz and Köln. Uh, Bielefeld probably will stay down, although Bielefeld is also they're gaining some steam. I'm really, 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 really worried about Köln at the moment. They need to win the big ones. Now, if you look, Expecta stands Köln just ahead of Bielefeld, uh, but still on, on, on the relegation spot. Um, we have stood um, some move, move in mid, midfield, but you look, if you look at the table, it really uh, mirrors what I just said. The top four, done. And then we have a race for the, Euro, for the last Euro, Euro, European spot where between Freiburg and Hoffheim, that's the cut. And then we have a relegation fight. Uh, I would put Hertha probably uh, from the feeling a little bit more down, but they are level with Bremen and then Mainz, current Bielefeld. Um, one will go down, one will go into relegation, one will survive. Um, before we look at the next weekend, in the midweek, we actually have the Regensburg Werder Bremen Cup game, which uh, will decide who will play Leipzig at home in the semifinals. So that is interesting. And then on the weekend, there's only one game really that I have to have to say sticks out as one must watch, and that's Köln against Mainz. This is relegation fight in its purest form. Um, I again have a feeling it will go towards a draw, but the winner here will probably be uh, can rid themselves of, of a lot of trouble. And in, in, in addition, I'm not sure how Freiburg is uh, really thinking about their European chances. But if Bielefeld wins on Friday, then there becomes a whole lot of pressure on that game. Then it, then it really becomes a must win. If Freiburg should win that one, I think uh, it might go more towards a draw, I have the feeling. Other than that, um, there's really not that much. I mean, Werder, Leia, Leipzig, potential preview um, of the uh, Cup semifinal. Uh, Frankfurt Wolfsburg could be a big game, but uh, as we say, both are looking rather comfy uh, at the moment. So I. It's probably the nominal best game in there, but I don't see NAS necessarily as a big deciding game going going forward. Yes, if Frankfurt would lose and Dortmund wins at Stuttgart, which is also not all that given, there might be uh, some excitement coming back, but I really don't see it at this point. In Austria, as I said, start of the playoffs, Lusk played like I wanted, wanted to play for 30 minutes in Tirol. The old and had a few chances afterwards, but really they hit the post, had the complete, they had them. I mean, this was a siege, more, 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 more or less. Then, when you think it's petering out, yeah, they get a penalty, yay! Oh, and then you ran, but no, we are not good, good, good penalty, and so, so it proved. Wiesinger, uh, who had actually converted every single penalty since he became the penalty taker, puts it one meter to the right when, it, when the goalkeeper was already in the wrong corner. And then I knew exactly how it's go. Yeah, right after the half, Tadic with a nicely played counter makes it 1-0 and 10 and ten minutes later. Similarly, Tadic to Rogel. I think this was offside, but we don't have VAR. It should have been there, but because of uh, Corona, it's postponed. Crazy. Also, you have 2-0 and Lusk cannot find a way back. Uh, it's damning, damning. Uh, loss, uh, you know. I personally have written this season off already. 
long, long time ago due to uh, in, two, two injuries. What Rapid pulled against Wolfsburg, uh, phew, they get the one in the 22nd and the 29th. Lokos really uh, is with a, how to say, Kung Fu tackle sent off in, uh, in the opposition box. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, Ikara makes it 3-2. I mean, the goal by Funtas, actually, you should low, low, low look up. He is um, kicking it with his heel out, uh, out of the area. And this was a really nice one. And uh, Rapid really having everything back. Then Röcher gets it 1-2-1-2 one, uh, two, one, two at the half. And you think maybe there's a chance now. Uh, what Rapid then pulled, Ullmann, Funtas, and uh, twice... In, by the 61st, three more goals, and then Scherzer produces two own goals, and Damien gets another one. It's 8-1, it's the biggest win for Rapid in a long time. And Salzburg, also, within 11 minutes, Patzen Daka had a hat-trick. And then they played it safely. I mean, Dante uh, put it in in the 13th, and I think that ended the game. Crazy game, honestly, as well. So, yeah, uh, the first standings of the playoffs, and you know, there were points half far from, from the regular season there. That's why there's so little points. Uh, yeah, Sal Salzburg will become champions. Rapid probably, most likely, will make it in the Champions League Sp uh, qual uh, qualification, which means that. <coughs> To make it in the Champions League will uh, take uh, to survive a few rounds there. Lask has only a minimal chance to make that. I hope that Lask will at least hang on to this third spot, which seems doable unless Tirol really go, goes to a run. On the bottom, Austria Wien is now uh, primed to go in the seventh spot. But uh, let's see further. Expected standings, as I said, it's also pretty clear. It's more or less a fight who is last there, which I find in, in interesting. And between Hartberg and Austria, who will go? up so yeah in the next round last place against Wolfsburg I hope this is three points we have the big one between Rapid and Salzburg if there's any chance for uh, any uh, for, for Rapid to challenge for the championship they better win this one we also have on the bottom Hartsberg against Austria so let's see about that so that was it all from Germany mostly and then Aust Austria let me know what you thought about the games give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!